What's a balloon's least favorite type of music? Pop music. <laughs> Good morning. It is Thursday, October the 7th, 2021, and this is another edition of Cafe Devo, coming to you almost live from First Congregational Church in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. I'm Pastor Steve Wood, got myself a fresh cup of coffee ready to go, and my pal Bugsy is by my side as usual. I hope your Thursday is going well. We're going back to the Old Testament again this morning, reading from the book of Nehemiah, chapter 9, verses 17 through 18. They refused to listen and failed to remember the miracles you performed among them. They became stiff-necked and in their rebellion appointed a leader in order to return to their slavery. But you are a forgiving God, gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love. Therefore, you did not desert them even when they cast for themselves an image of a calf and said, this is your God who brought you out of Egypt, or when they committed awful blasphemies. These words are part of a prayer offered by the Levites as the remnant of Israel gathered during the days of Nehemiah. Time and again, the Israelites had been saved by God through amazing miracles as they were in and leaving Egypt wandering in the wilderness and living for a while in the promised land, but they continued to rebel against him. Reading these accounts in the Old Testament might make us feel competent and prideful. We might think that if we had seen the miracles the Israelites saw, we would never have forgotten them. After all, none of us has ever seen a sea part or river turn to blood or manna falling from heaven. We think if we did, we would never act sinfully as the Israelites did toward God. But what if we're looking at these biblical accounts in the wrong way? We might claim we have never seen God do a a big miracle, but what about all the little ones he blesses us with every day? You know, the job you have, the healthy family, your relationships, your church, your salvation, all those things are gifts blessings from God. And that is no small thing. We are told that every good gift comes from God. That's James 1.17. If our good gifts come from God, it doesn't really matter if we consider them big or small, does it? They aren't our doing, and they come from him. This can and should translate into humility that allows us to trust God, even if we've never seen the sea part or the manna fall. We should trust him more, even if we've never seen the big miracles of the Old Testament. So think about it. What are the little miracles God continues to do in your life every day? And how is he at work in your personal life? Bless us this day, O Lord. We're grateful for it. Another day of life that you've given us. Rest through the night and the opportunities of the day that follows. We lift up your name this day, Lord. You are our God, our creator, our redeemer, and our friend. And so we ask that you would guide us. Watch over our words, guard our thoughts, guide our steps, Lord, so that we can be a blessing. And most of all, we can bring you glory. Bless us this day, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, that's going to do it for us on this Thursday edition of Cafe Devo. Once again, I'm Pastor Steve Wood signing off. God bless you all. And I'll see you tomorrow.